attention during the first video that talked about back care and being nice and stable, working with your breathing and bracing. So if you didn't get that or you don't understand how to breathe in and on that inhale, really expand through your midsection, then this is not gonna make as much sense. So that's really your starting place. So we take our breath in and we expand outward. That's really what we're doing when we're using a belt for lifting. So whenever we're working on lifting, and it's a lower percentage, we're doing tempo, we more than likely want to work no belt because we want these muscles through our whole midsection to act as our like built-in belt. We want them to be working to be strong and stable and protect our back. If every time I squat or deadlift, I take my belt and I strap it on and hook it through and like crank it as hard as it can, then I'm not really asking my muscles to do very much. And that's not really the purpose of a belt, really. So, when I'm lifting, one thing we could do is put it on kind of loose. We might not even belt if it's that loose on me. So, I have space. I can reach inside, I can move the belt around. So what would happen is when I take my breath in, I'm pressing out and I feel that pressure in my belt. So it's not tight, it's not really doing anything to me. I'm really trying to do something to the belt. And so if I'm lifting at a lighter percentage or I'm doing tempo, and I'm someone who really needs to work on this ribs down position and that hinge that we talked about in the first part, then this could be helpful because it can give me some feedback. It can just give me that little bit of, am I pushing out and using my core the way I need to when I lift? As it gets heavier, we definitely can make it tighter, but not really the purpose when we're working uh, for more reps and we're working lighter weight for tempo and position. We really want our body to learn how to protect itself. Uh, and then different belts can be different. So this one's from Tupu. That's the brand I always use. A lot of people around use it. It's nice to use a Velcro one sometimes that it's really easy to loosen and keep in place. Uh, so you don't have to worry about like really cranking it tight. Because like I said, that's not really the purpose of your belt. So if you have one that really buckles and you have to use the rig or someone else to pull to get it on, it's not really what we want it for. You want to find one that you can make a little bit looser and it can give you a lot of feedback and then that's how you want to use your belt to help you know you're in better positions and that you're braced by your actual muscles and not just using this for protection. If you have any questions about belt wear, what belt to use, or if you're doing it properly, please ask.